Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Medieval Battle. This one of a paired match against Venji. We have Italo Norman 1050 against Byzantine 1042. So, relatively open field. Some rough ground to deal with, but we've got uh, archers and crossbowmen we can dump there, so they can they can take care of it, I think. Uh, some lights on the flank. Maybe they can rush into this marsh, actually. Uh, just in case that he goes heavy into light cavalry. Otherwise, we're going to attempt to just night smash. We'll see how that goes. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, it's kind of afraid the artillery might be a thing. Close range for artillery is six squares, so that's there. Okay, so we'll be ready to shift these units over a bit before pushing into contact. Next turn. Let's see if the artillery opens up yet. Oh, he's waiting for us to get a little bit closer, which is unfortunately quite sensible. Delightful bug where the music plays regardless of your settings. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. Leave it there for now. Next turn. Okay, not that bad yet. Well, let's hang back out of our range for a moment. Now that they've shot.
take cover there. Be ready. Next turn we can start to really engage. Next turn. They are unprotected so they could disrupt from this. Okay. Held firm. Keep on them. Good. Then threaten to charge. If they stand and shoot, we'll catch them out. Varangian Guard, Rosk, Datoy, Varangian Guard. I want to zone out the Varangians with. Uh, we should have more city knights in the center here. They're going to try to zone that unit out. They can try to get there in time. Let's encourage some movement. Okay, that's pretty much what we can do, and next turn we'll start to engage. Next turn. Did he? Uh, hmm. I wonder if he intended to do that. I suppose I could sit still in response and not do anything that seems like the polite thing to do. Okay, so back to Venji. The only downside of my being a gentleman is that it gives them a solid turn to try to rally up. Uh, but that's okay. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Hmm, well done. It's looking suddenly kind of dicey. Let's try to get some revenge then. Good. Hmm. No, okay, fine. Interesting. Let's consider. How bad is that? That's terrible. Might need to 
general up and try to stabilize that situation. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit him hard on that side, maybe. Or, you know what? Zone out the guard and then trying to push. Go. We could charge, but why would we really? There. If we lose some units in the center, I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, next turn. Failure to catch any of those horse archers was disappointing. That's well done, that means we can't charge, but we can only sit there and get shot at. Unless, oh, actually, that unlocks things. Okay, good. Yeah, that's gonna eventually be painful. That opens an auto drop up if we want to expose ourselves to the same thing. Which, good question. Yep, there goes the center. Really? Damn. Charge. Prep another charge. That means... Hmm. I guess what I could have done is charge and then shuffle there to cover our flank. Now I need to ask myself, do I want to go for an auto drop or stand my ground? There's no winning, we might as well just grab the drop, except that we're going to lose that unit. Do this might get our commander in chief killed, but if we don't, we'll also get him killed. So things are looking a bit desperate. Bad next turn. 
Next turn. Yeah, it is a problem. Should be able to bounce that off. Oh, why did we stay? No, oh. well, we're gonna lose this thing. for a break and they hold firm oh gotta get in ouch 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 start to get into a flanking position, although I don't think we'll live long enough to get there. Those were all favored combats, and <laughs> none of them worked out. Is that fall back? Ouch. This will fall apart in, I don't know, two, three turns. Next turn, rallying the Rask Tatoi. Yeah, this isn't going to last too long. Okay. Ouch. Next turn. Yeah. Well, mini bonus there, but it didn't do any good. I'll roll it up with the Varangian Guard and looks like an auto break time. There goes our Commander-in-Chief. At least he's alive, I guess. Come 
Oh, bad luck there. What's better, six to eighteen or six to twenty-two? Great, we'll take it. Held firm. Nope. All right. Okay, next turn it should be done. Next turn. Good, Get one more chance to shoot at them. Frag, disrupt, yeah. Oof. Well, go for it. Start. Might as well charge before the odds become even worse. Ugh. Take out that artillery. Go for a break. The hold firm. Yeah, general dub, elite unit in combat. They're gonna be fine. Gonna collapse and possibly a cave in. Let's see. Oh yeah. So they'll follow through there. Okay, one more turn then. Next turn. Yeah, that makes sense. He knows he can beat that unit anyway, so why waste extra effort on that? Well, we could go for the trebuchet, but I'd rather rush over here on the off chance and can at least save one unit. Oh no. <laughs> it's not happening. Okay, fair enough. Off. Yeah, 
That's... Mm, cold comfort. Next turn, our collapse continues. Oof. Yeah, we knew that was coming. And we knew that was coming. And that. Oh, perfect. Well done. And then they'll flank there. They'll auto break, so it should all be done. Huh. Very convincing win. Okay then. So, yeah, a lot of cheap Byzantine units with missiles backing up some hard-hitting units. I do wonder how a later Western list with the heavily armored knights would do. They'd be able to shrug off the arrow fire and do much better against the various cavalry units. They still couldn't really fight the guard. They could shrug off you know, the Scudato and Archer's arrow fire though. And they'd still get hit pretty hard by the artillery. So, might be worth checking that out next time. So, good game, and well played to Benji. Till next time.